Hey guys, Adam here with a very quick SimHub tip for you today. In a recent build, SimHub gave us the option to do something we can never do before, and that is run multiple dashboards on the same display type. Previously, if you had a USB D480 and a Vocor display, you could run a different dashboard on each display or the same dashboard even on each display, but you couldn't have more than one USB D480 or more than one Vocor display connected to SIM Hub at the same time. Well, now you can, and this is really cool. Um, this has allowed me to do some interesting things, and I will show you as best I can in a moment. I don't have the shoulder cam set up right now, unfortunately. I wish I did, but let's just jump right into Sim Hub, and I will show you what I am talking about. So in Sim Hub, we want to go into Dash Studio, and then across the top, you see the new menus. This has been rearranged in a more recent build um, but since both of mine I've got a five inch grid DDU here that's mounted to my direct drive motor and then I've got my let me get that in the camera my GSI wheel here um, which I just pulled the USB cord out for um, so I've got two USB D480 displays now previously I could only run a dashboard on one or the other now I can run a dashboard on both and I can run two different dashboards. So if I want to put a leaderboard on my grid DDU that's always right there, top center, and then car information on the GSI, I can do that. And then that means I don't have to have relatives and overlays running on my screen kind of taking up real estate where I want to be looking down track. So what I want to do is because both of my displays are USB D480, I'm going to go into this menu right here. If you had multiple Vocors, you would go into this menu here. Um, but if you have one USB D and one Vocor, you can follow this same process. Just use screen one Vocor and screen one under USB D480 to set up the multiple dashboards. So I'm going to go into USB D480 and I'm going to go into screen one first. Now this part of this takes a bit of trial and error because the one thing you need to know and it is not explicitly stated anywhere at least that I have found is the SIM hub screen ID for which screen is which. Now I know through testing that screen ID ending in 42 is my grid display that's mounted to my direct drive motor. But what you want to do first is click enable display and connect to specific screen and then select that screen ID in the drop down. If you have only the one display plugged in that is the only display you will see in this drop down menu and that's a very quick and easy way to tell which is which now my grid display is not touchscreen so i am going to uncheck enable touchscreen but it doesn't matter if you leave that checked or not but since it's not there's no point in me having that box checked so now what I want to do is I want to click this drop down right here for displayed dashboard. And on this one, since this is on my Simu Cube, I want to put the SimHub leaderboard. This is a dashboard that is included with SimHub by default. When you download it, I don't need to change anything. It's good as is. It's not a perfect dashboard. I would make some updates if I were using it regularly. Besides the point, I'm rambling, I apologize. But now when I am in the sim, the leaderboard will be displayed on my grid display. If I wanted to have an idle display, so something when the sim isn't running, I would check this idle behavior box. I would click the idle dashboard button or power off button if you want. Sim Hub gives you the ability to power off the display when your game isn't running. Um, I like to have idle dashboard. When you click it, you get the same drop down. All of your available dashboards are here. Um, even my race logic display that I created, you could have on there as a displayed dashboard for in Sim, but that's entirely up to you. I like the system info one because I get just some basic info about my system and some stuff that I added on there. Excuse me. 
and now my center display my main one that i use all the time is good to go so let's go to screen two screen two same thing we're going to click enable display we're going to click connect to specific screen and in the drop down we're going to check screen id 45 which is my gsi wheel now the GSI is touch screen, so I'm gonna make sure enable touch screen is checked with the simplified mode for left, right page change, because that's actually how I use the display on my GSI. I can just tap if I have a dashboard with multiple pages in it to cycle through. Or if you're using the GSI dash that I created, I actually have set the touch screen at least personally on my machine to scroll through all of the widgets on that dashboard but we've got the touchscreen checked and now in this case we're going to click display dashboard and now for this one let's say i want to run the gsi fpe 2.4 that i created that's it we're done idle behavior when i'm not in sim i generally check power off but just for the time being i want to show you that i do have and the camera is not going to pick it up because of the light reflection but i've got the gsi dashboard running here i've got the leaderboard running down here on my grid ddu and that's it i'm good to go two usb d displays running two different dashboards all set i got nothing to worry about i do recommend with the usb d displays always keep your fps refresh rate set to 20. there's never a need to go any higher than that trust me just leave it at 20. but now let's say i had one usb d and one vocore so i would go to screen one on the usb d connect to specific screen pick the screen pick the dashboard just like i did before then I would go over to Vocor, enable display, connect to specific screen, find your Vocor screen ID, pick your dash. You know the drill. I just walked you through it over here on the USB D. But that's it. That's all you need to do. And Sim Hub now supports up to four USB D or four Vocors. I don't think that that means you can run eight displays in general. I haven't tried it. I am not going to try it. I don't ever see a need to have that many different <laughs> displays connected because the USB bandwidth issues, especially for AMD users, is going to be a nightmare. So. There you go. Let me know if you've got any questions. If you found that this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up so the YouTube algorithm can help other viewers who are looking for Sim Hub information find that. And until next time, I'll catch you later.